Hi everybody! The World Trade Organization is an international organization that regulates global trade with headquarters in Geneva, Switzerland. It currently has 164 member states that are signed up to it and they all basically are signed up to the mission statement of the WTO and that is basically what the World Trade Organization say that ideal trade should be. First of all, they argue that ideal trade should be non-discriminatory. That is that countries are not allowed to informally um, have you know, free trade uh, policy with one country, whereas with another country they have very strong protectionist measures. No. Everything um, that is agreed between countries should be done formally. So all trade policies should be formally agreed with trade agreements in place so that discrimination cannot take place. Trade should be as free as possible. Of course, the World Trade Organization is a big advocate of trade. Uh, they're not going to believe in protectionist measures, are they? So in their mind, uh, ideal trade should be free with less protectionism as much as possible. Trade should be predictable so that uh, individual countries can foster uh, an environment and economy whereby investment decisions can take place, whereby jobs can be created well, whereby businesses can flourish. If trade is unpredictable, none of that can happen. So predictable trade benefits strong economies and leads to investment and job creation. Trade should be fair, there should be fair competition and sometimes that might mean protectionist measures, maybe to allow for infant industries to grow. If that is a solid argument, then okay, the World Trade Organization will allow for fair uh, competition, fair protectionist measures to be enacted, but protectionism will never last for a long time. So protectionism only for when it's needed and then taken away. So fair trade as much as possible, fair competition to be promoted as much as possible and also for trade to be beneficial for developing countries as much as possible through special provisions if need be, whereby developing countries have got you know, the time to grow and develop, the flexibility to grow and develop, before maybe World Trade Organization rules and policies are enacted on developing countries. So, important for you to know what the roles and the functions of the World Trade Organization are. Well, first of all, to set and to enforce rules on international trade, the enforcement side is very important, whereby if countries are found to be breaking the rules of the World Trade Organization, then punishments can be enacted on them, whether it's fines or any other means. Uh, to resolve trade disputes is absolutely massive, so if one country is getting very frustrated about the trade policy of another country, then instead of that country enacting retaliatory protectionism, or tit-for-tat protectionism, or uh, punitive protectionism against that other country, the World Trade Organization can come in and act as the middle institution to solve that trade dispute, which is massive, to prevent uh, continual protectionism between two countries, which actually will not benefit any of those two countries at all. To provide a forum for negotiating trade liberalization, now this is absolutely massive, whether between two countries or whether on a global scale. You know, one big thing that the World Trade Organization organizes are big international rounds of trade negotiations. Um, but also to provide a forum for individual countries to get together and to agree on trade policy. They can do that through Geneva. So now think about it. If there are two countries without the World Trade Organization, they would have to you know, call each other and organize meetings between each other, maybe you know, all the way around the world for one a trade diplomat to fly to, to get into a meeting and to, to organize trade talks. But that's very difficult, that's very time consuming. It means that an agreement being made could take much, much longer than what it should do. Whereas with trade diplomats being based in Geneva at the World Trade Organization headquarters, those two, those two countries, those two diplomats can get together much easier and can get to organizing a trade agreement much quicker, which is fantastic for both countries and for global free trade. Uh, to monitor further trade liberalization, so to make sure that if free trade agreements have been signed, that trade is actually free and trade is happening as has been agreed, to increase the transparency of the decision-making process, which is massive. So if the World Trade Organization is enacting rules, is enacting regulations, let's say, that that decision-making process has been transparent, has been clear for all member states to understand how that decision has come about. And if any country feels that the decision is unfair, like the rule is unfair, or that it's not been made correctly, they can uh, they can critique that, you know, they can um, hold the World Trade Organization accountable and, and ask questions to the World Trade Organization that way. So transparency allows for accountability in the decision-making process. To help developing countries fully benefit from free trade, which is absolutely massive, 
and to ensure that there is cooperation with other major economic institutions like the IMF when it comes to enacting economic policy or of course trade policy with respect to the World Trade Organization. So that covers um, the World Trade Organization, who they are, what they stand for and what they actually do. Thank you so much for watching guys, I'll see you all in the next video.